if we were seeking or maybe still seeking for relief or the end of suffering in our thoughts and emotions, descriptions and stories, we were never going to find relief. And it's good news. <laughs> it's good news. Because seeking for our well-being in our thoughts and emotions, we can each admit that it's endless. We, we believe that thoughts and emotions has power over us. It doesn't matter what they are. It can be fear, good fear, bad fear. It can be um, happy thoughts and emotions. It can be a blissful state. It can be a very nice dream <laughs> that may, maybe say something really good about us. Or horrible dream that we're so afraid that it will become the reality. So if we are seeking for relief or for kind of resolution in our thoughts and emotions, again, we were never going to find it. Never. It's an endless task. We're trying to find relief in our thoughts and emotions by indulging in them, taking them to mean something. And we are really diving into them and chasing for the good meaning of thoughts and emotions. I did that. And it's always like endless stories. There are more to come and more things to come. And it's so addictive. And we tell everyone about this story that we have or about that dream that we had last night. And we take it to be something. Or we avoid thoughts and emotions. We, we're so afraid of just feeling uncomfortable or feeling not at ease. Uh, feeling criticized or feeling not good enough feeling like we're going to die or someone in our family will go to die or something will happen that is completely unpredictable so we're just like I don't want to think about it better just not to think about it let's think about the good stuff because if we good if we think in positively maybe it will become the reality do you know this one to project the <laughs> positive into reality maybe it worked one time twice or maybe a hundred times but does it always work <laughs> good so that's the second thing we do the last thing is also we thinking about something else instead <laughs> you know like we have for example desire for someone and we are in an intimate relationship we shouldn't go we shouldn't feel that way we shouldn't think that way so we replace it with Oh, no, no, I, I love my partner. Um, she, she's so good to me, or he's so good to me. Or we have the thought of, I'm so afraid. You know, so I'm so afraid to, to face that person. And we replace it with, uh, no, I'm actually strong. You know, I'm stable. I can deal with that. You know, I have confidence. I will know what to say. I'll do it, I'll do it. You know, I, I'm really good, okay, let's make a plan. And we are just like cultivating some kind of positive affirmation or motivation to feel good, to feel at ease, to be fearless. You know, try to be fearless. <laughs> or try to be uh, stable. Uh, people say to us, you know, be strong, you can do it. And we think, wow, that sounds so good, so motivating. But still we are lacking that kind of, you know, click. <laughs> it doesn't click with us. <laughs> it sounds good. It has the, 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 the best, like, um, description. We can kind of, you, we can taste it, but it doesn't really touch our experience. And that's something that we can all look in our experience, how <coughs> we've been chasing for positive descriptions to affirm our well-being, to kind of find ease and conviction and just like efforting to relax, to be as we are. So I'm reminding you again, if we are seeking for relief in our thoughts and emotions, it will never happen. So here, when you come here, you've been introduced to the most basic, fundamental nature of our mind, the power to know. The power to know is the source of everything, is the is the source of all thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, 
memories, dreams, <laughs> death, life, everything. It's that power that knows everything. And to introduce yourself to that, stop thinking. Just for a moment and recognize what remains. Cognizance, alertness, the power to know, this is open intelligence. It's our own basic open intelligence. It's the power to know everything. And immediately will come in all the thoughts and emotion, but wait a moment, I, I'm, I'm still thinking about the topic I had this morning. I'm still so tired, I'm still afraid. All these thoughts and emotions, they're inseparable from our power to know from open intelligence like the color blue in the sky, inseparable. We love this metaphor. Yeah. So we can, we can feel instinctively the relief of not trying to separate our thoughts and emotions from our own open intelligence. In this great relief, we can stop seeking. We can, we can really stop seeking for our well-being in our thoughts and emotion because we can rely on open intelligence which is at the basis of everything. And how do we do it? We do it for short moments. We take a short moment of relaxing body and mind. Whenever we remember to do so. See, whenever we remember to do so. So again, no effort, no contrivance, no trying to take a short moment or think about the short moment. Whenever you remember, short moment of relaxing body and mind. So you can do it right now, I'm reminding you. <laughs> take a short moment of complete relaxation. Like let's take all the topics today. A short moment of open intelligence. Self releases. Like a line drawn in the sky, in air, leaves no place. I can write fear and you will not run away. <laughs> Space remains free. While I'm writing fear, it's completely self releases. I can write amazing dream <laughs> and still air will remain just completely free. And it's the same within our mind. Look at the nature of our thoughts and emotions. They can be as they are for a short moment. And we gain confidence in relying on open intelligence when we let them be as they are. And we do see that there is nothing to be afraid of. Now, don't think about it, because thinking about not, nothing to be afraid of or fearlessness, that can be taken to extreme. But allowing fear to be exactly as it is, here there is nothing to fear. You see? That's the difference. So the appearance of death or fear of being as we are is coming up. And for sure, it comes up to me too. We can all say we have that fear sometimes. It comes. So all the ways of trying to avoid thinking about death, that was something I've done a lot. Not wanting to speak about death, not wanting to think about death. And with relying on open intelligence, the, the thoughts of death comes up and we can let them be as they are. You see, that's it. <laughs> we can let them be as they are for short moments. It doesn't mean that suddenly we'll have amazing sensations or that we will not be afraid of death. But we can feel everything fully. We can relax when death thoughts are coming up or when horrible dream we had last night is still coming up, all the aspects of it or thinking about friends that are going through really terrible situations. We don't want to be cut off from people, from feelings and emotions. This we've done for so many years <laughs> by trying to avoid what we feel and think. But in a short moment of open intelligence, we let fear be as it is. And we immediately feel that natural compassion, understanding, clarity that pervades that thoughts and feelings that we were trying to always chasing after them or avoiding them now we can let them be as they are as they are 
we gain confidence in that. It doesn't come, okay, that's it, we are not afraid anymore. But that's why we have the training, <laughs> you know, the support to really affirm to us over and over again that in each short moment of open intelligence, everything can be as it is. Everything can be as it is doesn't mean also that we don't do anything, that we are not moving in our life or supporting people or supporting loved ones during death and illness from the vantage of feeling everything fully, we are truly able to support people. You see? Because we are not afraid of what they fear and what we fear. We can cry, we can be sad, we can have grief, but we are still capable to move forward with dig dignity for one another and to do what's needed one moment at a time to support our family and friends in the most simple and natural ways. We can love fully too. We can love everyone as they are. We can love ourselves as we are. So that's something that opened up for me uh, during the 12 empowerments and since then, you know, it doesn't stop. Like you shared, you see already so many changes in your life, your ability to be stable and at ease with so many circumstances and results are just flourishing and there's some thoughts and emotions, some data streams that are still like sticky to us, you know, we, we, can't, we find it a bit harder to let them be as they are. But there is something else we have, that assurance in ourselves that we will continue to gain confidence because we have all the support for that. You know, we don't need to think, um, for example, <coughs> if I'm afraid, so I'm not relying on open intelligence. So open intelligence is not present. Um, when I sleep at night or when I'm not aware, so open intelligence is not present. What aware of your dreams, it's only open intelligence. What sees the dreams, it's not our eyes, right? <laughs> They're closed. <laughs> and Candy said it a lot and I was like, wow, it's so amazing. It's open intelligence, it's completely awake completely present, always there, always on. The bright light of open intelligence is always on. Whether we're tired, we have less energy, we have lots of energy, we have data about um, death or dreams or whatever it is, or our friends and we don't know what to do, open intelligence is always present, we can always rely on. You see, and that in this way we gain all the skillful means that are needed to support our friends, to support our family. Not needing to, you know, always like save them. <laughs> you know, in that complete relaxation, in your example of relying on open intelligence, of your complete stability, you make yourself available in a very natural way, in your total love and yeah, total stability, showing people that they have a choice asking them very clearly, can I do something for you? <laughs> you know, sometimes we think it should be something really grand. <laughs> but it can be very basic and simple. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything you see? Things are just more simple. Life becomes more simple. And situations also, they, all the heaviness of all kinds of circumstances, it's not so heavy anymore. It's not that we become um, without feelings and emotions for people. Again, we feel more. We feel, we feel more even. <laughs> but at the same time, we know what to do. We have that clarity. We are not running away from ourselves, trying to look for the better feel or <laughs> you know, running away from the negative feel. We let feel, however it looks, be as it is. And we don't need to think about, okay, fearlessness, if there is no fear, that will be too much thinking to open intelligence. You see? It's better just to relax for a short moment and allow everything to be as it is. And then you have that instinctive recognition that doesn't need any explanation. Because more explanation will just feed more explanation and needing to know more and more and more and more. It's like what I said at the beginning, it will never come to a point where we find it, <laughs> because open intelligence is inexhaustible.
it includes all data streams however they are whatever they are and that's the safety you see that's how we are secured in open intelligence and everyone else is also secure in open intelligence and this way we are also um, able to take responsibility for our own life situations and again with our own example we will it ripples out into the benefit of all into what will be of most benefit we are not lost or pulled by our feelings and emotions anymore to, to try to find relief we are stable and fearless in the midst of them knowing what to do in fear in doubt in confusion in disappointment in tiredness in not knowing what to do we have that clarity of mind that is just like going and going it's always present it's always present and here we can rest not here in this place also but right here just exactly as we are with nothing more to do <laughs>